What's up guys, Takeups here, welcome back to another video, hope you guys are feeling well and today I wanted to talk about a few things on the iOS 11.1 and the iOS 11.2. So 11.2 has some really really nasty surprise, the beta version of course, and this will be of course fixed at the final version, but just for now guys, I just wanted to tell it to you because it's so nasty and annoying. So take a look at this one, when I lock my device, this one is by the way running the iOS 11.2, when I just unlock it, as you can see there is the pop up. It says that the new iOS update is now available, so I need to just, you know, down upgrade to the iOS, the normal version from the beta. So I currently have the iOS 11.2 beta 1, and as you can see that says I need to actually go from a beta to the normal version of the iOS, which is the iOS 11.1. And of course this is not possible, there is no option to downgrade, so when I just go into the settings, uh, general, software updates, as you can see there is nothing available in there. The iOS 11.2 is the current one. So unfortunately there is no option to downgrade but this will tell you to actually downgrade every single time you launch the let's say this a finder or it's not finder but just the search or just going into the apps unlocking your device every single time this will say it this will ask you to actually downgrade to the iOS 11.1 so of course guys if you want to update to the iOS 11.2 right now please do not do this because this will always shine in your face and of course this will be so so annoying and so earlier today I told you guys that this issue is now present on the iOS 11.2 let's say not an issue but a software detection because this one is kind of trying to to detect whether you have a normal account or a developer account. So if you have a developer account, of course, this will not show it at uh, this pop-up, but if you have a normal account, just a non-developer account, this will always show this annoying pop-up. And this guy actually said uh, that after restarting his device, this was silent for six hours. So of course, I'm gonna try this one right now and tell you guys the results. And yeah, looks like this guy was right. So now I don't have that issue anymore. So I've just restarted my iPhone and now when I try to just launch it, yeah, yeah, just like this just unlock it as you can see there is no pop-up so in here no pop-up as well uh, not in the apps so now it's gone so it will be gone for at least six hours and that's the only solution to that problem currently so guys if you're now running the iOS 11.2 on your device this is the only solution for you and now a very little jailbreak information for you guys and a little hope for the final iOS and 11 jailbreak to come out so yesterday if you remember Apple also dropped alongside the iOS 11.1 the security contents of it where we've seen this little vulnerability or let's say the exploit uh, that has been patched in that firmware. So look at Esco also tweeted that uh, this uh, number of the exploits is out and he used it in the iOS 9 private jailbreak. So I don't really know what he means by saying out if it's out publicly but it definitely has been fixed in the iOS 11.1. So guys I'm not sure like I don't really want to say anything about that no hopes but just a little information about it. So of course if you're waiting for a jailbreak guys Guys, make sure you stay on the lowest iOS version possible like the iOS 11.0.3 or even lower and yeah guys I mean that should be pretty much it for today just a very very quick information about everything that's happened uh, yesterday and today just wanted to kind of update you guys and of course if you want to see more little update videos just like this one make sure you hit the like button so that will be so so much appreciated like always and as always guys I really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out